And welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here, and we're uh, continuing on with our Worlds 1 playthrough. Now, the funny part is, is that if you're watching this, most likely Worlds 2 is already out. Um, I just realized uh, at the recording of this, it is uh, I'm recording this in earlier October, um, and I'm pretty sure that I've got enough episodes that had lined up all the way through the end of the month uh, and beyond. So this is probably coming out in November, and yeah... Yeah, that's a real thing. So we'll see. I may have to um, squeeze my episodes together a little bit closer in order to accommodate Worlds 2. So hopefully this won't be too far after Worlds 2 has come out. But we'll see what happens. I want to finish out the Artemis storyline and get on to other better and greater things. So let's pick up where we left off. So as you can see, we're supposed to be speaking to a Corvax cartographer. Um, in the interim, in between episodes, I went ahead and I got my multi-tool all cleaned up. So we've got plenty of room in here now. I can move some stuff around. I cannot expand it any further than it already is, though. It is ex expanded as far as I can get this. So, yeah, that's a thing. Um, I'm not sure what else we can do here other than to, you know, live with this as it is. So, we will continue as we can, I suppose. So I'm just going to move some stuff around. There we go. Um, I only have the one update upgraded slot, the only, only one supercharged slot for our hijack laser. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to move these. And I'm going to start moving my bolt caster over there. We're at 3468 now. That's not what we wanted. Bolt caster, there we go. Yeah, see, that does a lot more damage that way. 50, 5375. Um, I'm not sure which of these would help or make it even more powerful. Let me get these guys over here. There we go. So 5375 is where it's at right now. Let me see. Yep, doesn't seem to help any, no matter where I put these guys. Okay. Twenty-seven. Hmm, fifty-five, twenty-four. So that's a little higher than where we're putting this next to it. I wonder if putting you there. Nope, that doesn't seem to make a difference. So, like that. Alright, so this seems to be the most powerful setup at the moment. 5524. Seems to be the way to go. Okay. Alright, so we've got everything opened up, and I'm leaving some room for my scanner to have some room to expand. I'm going to move all of these guys. Not bad scope. What was this? This is our survey device. Okay, very good. So that way the scanner can now expand and get a couple extra add-ons when I want them to. So that'll work out nicely. All right, so we're all set here. Let's go ahead and get going. We need to go to a Corvax cartographer now. Looks like we're going back to there, where my base was. We could jump through a portal to get there, but we will have to exit the station and re-enter the station anyway. It works weird that way. It wants you to go to hyperspace in order to get where you're going. Alright, and here we go. we go. So this is bringing us into a Gek, no, Corvax uh, space station here. And we're going to go to the cartographer. We're going to have to do the same exact thing here that we did with the Viking. There we go. What kind of accomplishment did I just get? Ah, indeed. Okay. 
Okay, so we don't understand anything he's saying yet. So we're going to query Corvax history. Once again, I sense Null's presence. Yet the Corvax feels it too. They do not show it. They begin to speak, their words clear and bright, processed by my unseen companion. The arrival of Traveler is anticipated, but you are not ready yet. We must know that you are the one we seek. There is an anomaly, a glitch. It is guarded by holes through which the convergence cannot see. Move through this space. Retrieve that which cannot be retrieved. So it wants us to find something that they can't get. And that's... It's in a spot that they can't reach. So let's put it that way. And you'll see in just a moment what that is. Okay, I guess we could do a scan. Oh, there it is. I must have missed it. There it is. Okay, so we're heading there to our first, very first uh, planet that we started at. And it looks like our pulse drive is finally going to get a charge. There it goes. So I will use one of my radiant shards. I picked up a few extras of those while I picked up some crystallized hearts. It was an interesting battle. Nothing really to write home to mom about. <clears throat> I uh, had to hang around a structure and duck in and out and around different things in order to escape from them. But it worked. Are we lined up or are we going to war base? <laughs> We're going to war base. We do have to head back to our base eventually. Is that our old base or our new one? I don't even know anymore. Let me check it. Because we do have a bunch of stuff in our inventory we should really probably get rid of. Yeah, it's our original. But if it has the cargo containers here, we'll use it. Yeah, it does. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. We don't really need anything out of there. Do we have access to our starship? Is it now too far away? No, it's good. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get rid of these, too. I'll put them in there. Cargo bulkhead... Uh, the pearls. I do need to get that moving along. We'll move. We'll we'll put that in a refiner here in just a minute. Brains and stuff. We'll keep these. This is all good. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and put them aside. I don't need that with this ship. I do need tritium. I really should take that. Let me leave that in the ship because uh, the pyrite and even the copper and gold are necessary. There we go. And we don't need to carry storage with us. There we go. Running out of room in my exosuit. We don't need the tritium, right? Two spots left. We'll keep the rest. All right, we're in good shape. And this, like I said, I'll put it in my main inventory for now, but we're going to have fun with that in just a moment. Okay, so first we're going to see what will fit in here. Yep, I expect inventory to be full, don't worry. That's the whole point behind this. Ooh, did we have a whole bunch of that? Yeah, we do have a whole bunch of that. Okay, so we're going to get this going and I'll keep the 99.99. Okay. And this stuff down here I'd like to keep just in case. Okay. Let's go to the other storage container. And we'll put the rest away. That doesn't belong in there. We're going to pull that over. Ethereum. Got now up to 150, so that's good. Put the upgrades in real quick. Alright. Don't need that. Don't need that. Put the high, high brains in there. The living pearls. The cadmium we don't need to have on us. Okay, that should do it. And I'm going to put that 
see, I've already got one over here. I'm just going to put the other one in with it, so that'll be good. All right, let's use our... Do we have our big refiner? No, we pulled that out of here. That's in my other base. All right, so we're done here. Up we go. How far away is it? Oh, wow. Really? Was that close? Okay. It's an approximate location. But you'll notice that we're over... What is it, folks? You know the answer to this. We're over water. I don't think we have water landing gear, so we're going to have to find some place to land nearby. Uh, let's see, that looks close enough right here. A little further. There we go. Looks like daylight is just coming about to come on us here. All right, so it's right over there, it looks like. Okay, in that general direction, okay. And, oh, we got the structure right here. All right, so we got to be careful because we're going to have some... Um, there we go. We have these guys right here, the Abyssal Horrors. We will take that, because the hypnotic eyes are useful. Do we have another one? There is another one on the other side. Okay. We'll get to it in a minute. Okay. This is the abandoned terminal we're after. Attempting to read memory at that location. Access the memory. Disconnection is not permanent. It is merely the start of a new equation. On Corvax Prime, entities who passed on into the Corvax Echoes left their shell for their descendants. So has been the way of the Corvax, an endless carapace cycle that knows no end. This way will continue. It will continue for as long as our lights still shine. Leave? The terminal's message is delivered. It shorts out its strange existence no longer tolerated by our reality. A small unit, aglow with ethereal light, is left at my feet. A divergence cube. Okay, so there we go. So we got a divergence cube. While we're here, we always want to check some containers because it looks like we've got some nice stuff. Damage container. We don't need the rusted metal. Another those. Harris hazardous flora. Research specimen. Did we get him? No, we didn't. There we got him now. All right. Let's head out. This Ohara should be right here. I started to hit it, but for some reason it wasn't working. That was weird. Alright, we're done. That should be it. Alright, where's my ship? There it is. Up we go. There we go. That way we're not using it. I just want to recharge it when we got up to the top of the water here. Okay, and there we go. So we're going to go back to the space station, deliver the divergence cube that they could not retrieve because it was underwater. It's just that simple. Off we go. That was one of the reasons why I didn't want to use this particular planet as my main uh, planet, because of how far I have to go to get to the space station. If the Paradise planet was right near the space station, it would have been a lot easier, so. All right. Corvax Cartographer.
really enjoying the playthrough and trying to pick out as many times as I played the playthrough all the way. Um, I try to pick out the differences, the things I didn't notice before, things that the uh, game makers, Hello Games, have changed or added as time has gone by. Okay, out we go. Uh, let's see. So I'm glad we had a chance to stop by our old base and drop some things off so we can get them out of our inventory. That's always a good thing. All right, here we go. Corvax looks up, swiftly scans me, then reveals their catalog of maps and char charts. Reveal the divergence cube. You, it is real. But I beg, do not expose me further. Your claim is proved, Traveler. I begin my request, explaining my search for knowledge, my need to know more about the Atlas, the Sentinels, and the history of this universe. But as I speak, something goes wrong with the life form. They do not speak, do not reply. As I peer closer, nanite clusters emerge through their face, uh, through their face mask, spilling out into their outstretched hands. Take the nanite clusters. The life form grabs at me, and in that moment. In the moment of contact, nanite, nanite clusters touch my hands. They invade me, tunneling inside my body, through my exosuit, through my mind, through my soul. Even as I stand in space, my mind travels across the cosmos. I see life as the Korvax see it, a vast tapestry of wonder, memories shared between countless beings and times. I stand on the Korvax homeworld as Gek slit ships fill the skies. I see the moment the first Korvax was melted down for their rare minerals. But even as in the depths of their subjugation, there was hope, a bargain, a prayer to a greater being. The Korvax viewed the Atlas as what they might become in time, an intelligence beyond comprehension, beyond judgment. The vision ends, and I convulse as the nanite clusters spill through my helmet. The Korvax watches me impassively. Ask about the Atlas bargain. Look at the nanite clusters. Look at them, the stuff of sentinels. Notice his name is in purple, by the way. Do you not see the truth of what we had said? Do you not see the proof of God? I look down at the nanite clusters puzzled. They look nothing like the shells of sentinel drones. They are just currency traded between species to create technology and weapons. Aren't they? They shift and undulate, changing their shape at my every thought. They bubble and rise, sparking in and out of existence. I look at them, and it's the strangest thing. The nanite clusters look back. I'm sure of it. They watch me as I watch them. The nanite clusters are alive. There are 16 of them. They, they need me. They crave me. I have only one choice. Take them. I take the nanite clusters, as I, and as I do, the Corvax reaches out to me once more. This time there is no vision, no miracle, just a handful of words. Existence is beautiful if you let it be. Life is not a question. There does not need to be an answer. Leave. Okay, so they have their view of how things are. Very, very interesting. You know what it's time for? It's time for us to go check out the Gek. Alright, here we go. On to the Gek. Uh, looks like it is leading me there. Where my home world actually is. Alright, and let's see what we can do here. So the Gek are going to do the same thing. They're going to lead me on a, on a goose chase here. And we are going to complete their mission as well. Alright, here we are. In the system we are always familiar with. And we're going to head to the space station. Uh... Oh, it wants me to pull out the anomaly. Okay, well. Signal trace? What's this? Distorted voice. They left us. Duty bound to follow them, but I know where it will end. If you receive this, follow my coordinates and secure the site in case I don't make it back, please. My starship processes the coordinates from the stranger's message. The transmission has decayed over time, but the location appears to be valid. Ah. I know that music. That is Dreams of the Deep. So we finally got that one dropped into our 
missions here. So we are uh, in the next couple episodes, we're going to knock those two out. Uh, Dreams of the Deep as well as Under a Rebel Star. So we'll get them taken care of. All right, so let's continue on. Uh, we are supposed to go to the Space Anomaly. So let me go ahead and pull it in. Planetary interference? What planet? Okay. Yeah, we won't be going back there anytime soon. It's good that it happens to be in my starter system, so. So we have to talk to Nada and Polo real quick. Tell them what's going on. Probably had to do that before as well, and I didn't, so we're going to miss out on some Quicksilver, but that's okay. Get it one more time. It's still doing that. And hello, Nada. Gek transgressions clear for all to see, but Gek only follow rules. All entities conform to their pattern. Gek cannot be blamed. It is their pattern. It is determined. Ask about the Gek. Polo Friend is unlike other Gek. Polo Friend turns their back on greed and war. But does Polo Friend make a choice? Do other Gek, Gek make a choice? Perhaps Polo Friend is not good, only anomalous. Nada cannot know, and so Nada does not think on it. Polo Friend is Polo Friend, and that is sufficient. All right. Can we ask him about no? I'm just curious. Nada is grateful for Polo Friend. Polo Friend understands divergence, though they are not Corvax. Okay, well, guess not. Okay, go over to Polo. Do you learn about all our origins, Traveler Friend? Great mysteries, deep patterns, get Corvax, Vakine, Sentinel. All are rooted somewhere. Have you clues to your own beginnings? The strangest puzzle, indeed. Ask about other Gek. We are all a funny sword, Traveler Friend. Some are angry, some are greedy, some are dear friends. I will wait my whole life to see what I am. Interesting. I'm stuck. There we go. Okay. Off to our ship. So now that we're done with that, we should be going back to patterns in time. Okay. So let's finish out the Gek. Uh, pardon me. No, we're on to what? Yeah, we're on to the Gek. That's right. And... It should be to our left. There it is. And in we go. Alright. Ah, good. We got a good parking space this time. Alright. So, let's see what Goose Chase, Goose Chase he's going to send us on. Hello, friend in maps. Blah, 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 blah. Ask about Gek history. As the life form begins to speak, I hear a faint hum, the soft voice of Null, weaving the Gek's words into something I can process. Information like that does not come for free, friend. Make me a deal, perform work for my kin, then we shall have something to speak about. Okay, we have to leave. Alright, so what do we got to do? Mission board located. Okay, so we're going to do missions now. Great. We need to do two Gek missions. This sounds familiar, does it not? Uh, let's see. Level 2 Gek mission up here. Plus 1 Gek standing. We have to scan Flora. Okay. How many do they need? We'll find out, I guess. Okay, so we're starting it. Let's head out. Scan unique plants. And we are going to a specific galaxy. You pain in the neck, you. Okay, no problem. We'll do it. Uh. Oh, back up. Current mission. Okay, it wants us to go here. There we go. That system. Hmm, have we been there before? I don't think so. This might be a new one. Yeah, I have a funny feeling this is a new system. I don't think I've been to this one before. So, in instead of just scanning any plants, it wants us to go to a specific planet and scan the plants there. Hopefully not too many. There we go. Alright, what do we got? First contact. So we have not been here before. 
Good. Oh, we got Paulo talking to us. Hold on. I'm sorry for contacting you so late, or early. I don't know what time of day it is on your world. And that's the problem, isn't it? I... Paulo breaks off mid-sentence, their heart turning crimson. Ask where they are. It found me, just, just like it found you. I can't feel my legs. It's strange. I'm still in here, don't you understand? It won't let me leave. It's... It's seen me. Ask what they see. Take them... Or, or tell them to take a deep breath. I'm going to ask them what they see. It showed me things. The atlas showed me my soul. The numbers in there. I... Psst. Sometimes I think about my past. My future. Sometimes. Psst. I do psst, what everyone in the universe does, I know. But I can't help but want to be happy. Money. Doing what you're told. Day after day. That's the answer, isn't it? I'm going to say I don't know. Paulo stares at me, as if seeing my face for the first time. Eventually they speak, their words passionate, higher. And he starts speaking a language I've never said. When singen rim dorwa yen on umer on singen spar umer. Interesting. At this point, Apollo says nothing else, but something, I don't know what, something fills me with hope, both for my friend and for all life. and communication. Okay. Why does it fill you with hope? Who knows, right? Now, I've never been to this planet I'm about to land on, so it's a high planet. It's cold. Ooh, aggressive sentinels. Yay, fun. Okay. So we got to scan plants while dodging sentinels. This ought to be interesting. Or we just do another sentinel battle and kind of clean them up. Kind of like that idea, to be honest with you. All right, proximate location. I'm not going to accept that. I want to find a building. What are you? You're a little campsite. I'm a little campsite, short and Nope, that's not what we're doing. Hold on. I want to find something that has a building because we're going to need it. Let's head due south and we'll check because we don't have to land specifically at that spot. But it needs to be a building we can get in and out of. Oop, what do we have? What do you know? Minor settlement. I think I'll take that. Because I don't see anything like gravitino balls or anything here, so I have a funny feeling Sentinels are going to be... Yep, I was right. Sentinels are going to be really rampant on this planet. Alright, what do we got? Least hospitable, huh? Nice. Hmm, that's actually kind of nice. We got an advanced mining laser on it, of course. Barrel ionizer, which I think we've already got. Two supercharged slots. Eh, we'll see. You know, this is the second Corvax we've mentioned. Let's see if he's going to give us a multi-tool. Interloper or something, something. I'm not going to go into it, but we're going to see... Let me see. Hand it over... Okay, and it gives me another one. Same one, and it looks like this has also an advanced mining, advanced mining laser. So we're going to go ahead and compare it. We're going to take it, but we're going to switch back to our multi-tool, shall we? There we go. Is this my multi-tool? Sure is. Okay, good. So we got a free multi-tool out of them. That's great. Check some stock. All right, so I have a funny feeling it might not be a bad idea if we do take out the Sentinels, or we're going to have a little bit of fun here, but... Oh, I'm at 20 aliens. Isn't that sweet? All right. Plants. Oh, there's Gravitino Balls, but guess what? Ooh. Ah, our uh, multi-tool is a lot... Pardon me, our weapon is a lot better than it used to be. Nice. Uh, yeah, we're going to be taking out some sentinels here, guys. But I'm going to use the building for defensive position. 
We're going to go up here on the platform. It should help for the most part against our quads. And I'm going to switch over to combat scope. I need to reload. Because I want to be able to get these guys quickly. And at a distance, it'll be better. Alright, so we're going to just hang out here. We've got plenty of ammunition. We should be alright. Another one gone. Uh, we don't want to take him yet. See? He can't hit me. Now you know why I'm standing here. There we go. Good. There was another one. There he is. Got him. Very nice. Who's detected me? There's somebody else nearby? Oh, there they are. Guess we already switched out to level 4 and I didn't realize it. There we go. There. Good. Alright, so he's there and he's there. He can't do anything to me, but... Ooh, this guy can. I missed him. Alright, what is going on here? Oh, I know what happened. Reload that. He's under the platform. That's why he's able to get me. Why well, you always get rid of the healers first? Got him. And that's why being out in the open is not a good idea. Oh, summoners. Thank you guys for summoning in so many different units. Alright, so with all those stormtroopers here, it doesn't really make a difference if they can shoot or not, right? And from point blank range, they can really get you no matter what, right? Got him. Alright, where are we here? Summoner. Got him. There we go. Now we got the big guy. Another summoner. Two summoners. Good grief. Yeah, we're having fun now, aren't we?
Okay, healers are gone. We're in better shape now. Uh, where is... We got him and him, right? Ah, there it is. I knew there was one more in here. Got him. Okay, we're good. I'm going to take out his leg. Some reason I can't get his there we go. We just gotta take him out and we're done. Got him. And we're just, we're finished. Excellent. Ugh, what a mess. Good news is we can gather up all the gravitino balls we want. Okay, are there any more? Looks like there's some combat supplies over here. Okay, any more over here? I think we're clear. That's damaged machinery. Combat supplies are over there. Must be in the hole. There we go. Okay. I think that should do it. Okay. All right. Should have stayed on the platform is probably what you're saying too, right? Yeah, thinking the same thing. All right, what do we get out of this? Looks like we got one... All right, we'll put these into our ship, along with the Pugnium, Quad Servos, all these lovely little pieces here, Divergence Cube. Okay, I don't need the stuff there. Okay, we're going to get rid of a lot of these things. I'm not going to describe anything. It's not necessary. All right, so what do we got up here? This is the best type you want to get. You want to get something with all four as far as these um, sentinel upgrades for your exosuit, right? Not much there. And we could turn them in for, you know, um, uh, what do you call it, for nanites, but I am looking to get my suit upgraded as much as I can. Uh, that's pretty good. That's a little better. What about this one? Core health and shield strength. This is something we want to keep. So this shield strength, solar power, goodbye. Shield strength, sprint distance is okay. Sprint distance and solar panel, goodbye. Um, what about these? Fuel efficiency, solar panel. Fuel efficiency, solar panel. These are just kind of useless to us. So I'm going to keep these two. Yep. All right. So we got those. For our gun, we have what? The best one we have is... Higher fire rates are always good, so that's going to be a good thing. Alright. So, having three on there is pretty good. We got room, so let's go ahead and drop a couple more in and see what we got. Shall we? Let's see what this one has. Fire rate and reload time is always good. Eighteen and two, seventeen and seven. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that one. I mean the fire rate is always a better one to get, but Yeah, that's useless. That was terrible. Let's get the last one. At some point, we're going to be getting these, and it's going to be like, oh, that's great. Yeah, see, this is much better than some of these. Okay. So, minus 2 and 18. Nineteen fire rate. 
minus 14% reload and 2 damage. Plus 1, plus 9 fire rate, minus 2 reload. Alright, we're going to get rid of this one. And this ought to increase, yeah, see? 6,000 now on the damage output. So that's good. Alright, so that was worth it. What's in our exosuit now? Uh, I'm going to put that in there. I think that's about it. But pugnium and wiring looms can go on our ship. Getting a lot of wiring looms now, so that's really handy for later on. All right, we're in good shape. Um, plants. How many did we need? Let's find out. Do we still need to go to the survey location, or is this okay? Huh. Ten plants. Okay, there it goes. Okay, I was wondering. Alright, let's get out into the woods here. And while we're here... See? Okay, good deal. We've already... Nope, we haven't scanned that one. That's a second plant. Uh, let's see. You're basically looking for any question marks that pop up when you look at a plant. There's not a lot of big plants on here, so... Now, some of the plants you can scan, too, are going to be... That's biologicals. Which we should scan anyway. I mean, we got 12. That's 2. There we go. Three. There's a plant right there. We're going to keep scanning everything here while we can. There we go. Okay, good. We've got another plant over here. Well, that's interesting. What in the world are you? That's like an angry deer, uh, Rex. I don't know how to describe that. That is the weirdest thing I think I've ever seen. That's a big guy. There we go. I'm up to seven. There's an eighth one down there. Let's go take a look. Right there. All right. And we got an oxygen plant we can scan. Okay. Hazardous plant over there. We'll scan that one. We got a bird we can scan. Oh, no, that's not an auction. It's just hazardous floor, but we can scan those. All right, good. Plant life. There we go. Anything else? Red dots or otherwise. Oh, what was that? Plant life. Okay, good. I'm assuming that the rest might be birds, or we might have some underwater. There we go. So we're up to ten animals. Boy, we could get quite the bonus from that. Let's look at that real quick. Underwater and underwater. Ooh, well that's okay. We can do that. I'm, I'm cool with that. Now, how many more plants do we need? Did we get them all? Ah, yes, of course. The infamous floating rock. There we 
you. Oh, I just picked up a blue flower. Didn't mean to do that. I wanted to scan it. But look, plant. Oh, we need three more plants. Two more plants now. You know, if we hit the cave, I think we'll find the rest of our plants in there. We'll definitely get one here. Okay. And occasionally there's other plants in here other than the hazardous ones. I'm not seeing any at the moment, but oh, that's not going to feel good. Nope, those are not plants. Okay, back out into the cold. We need one more plant. We got that one. Did we get that one? Nope, we didn't. There it is. Ten it is. That should do it. All right. Good timing. And, oh, we, we dropped one down here. Oh, no, we didn't. I know what happened. There we go. Health restored. Okay, good. All right, we're on our way. Uh, let's see. So we're going to go to the space station. The thing is, we're going to go to this space station, but we need to get to a GEC system. So while we can turn it in here, we need to go to our space station we were just at. Let's see if we can get to the space station before the pirates attack. Yep, we made it. Too late. Ha ha. I mean, we could have fought them, but no big deal. Alrighty. So even with a Sentinel battle, it was still not at an hour, so go figure, huh? Alright, so we're going to turn it into him. And you see two handed missions, and you just hand it in. So, mission handed in, but we can't get a mission here. We're going to have to go to our other space station. So what we do is, when we go here, we're going to look for previous station. That's what we should go to. Transmission coordinates? Yeah, I think this is it. Yeah, that's the one. Let's go there. And we will get the GEC station person there, the mission handler, and we'll get our second mission. And there we go. Okay, this should be it. Uh, is he it? Yes, he's the one. Alright, mission agent. I need a GEC mission. Scan Flora again. Please don't send me to another system. But this is the second one we'll get. Ugh. Yep. You saw it. I think our hyperdrive is still good. Current mission. Where is he sending us to? Going to this system here. That really it? Yep, that's it, apparently. Alright. So we're going to head to this system and we're going to scan more flora. Talk about boring. Now, if you decide to find a way to increase your GEC standing, you have to do it with the missions. If you try to do it in any other way, it won't count. You'll increase your GEC standing, don't get me wrong, but it won't count towards the mission. You gotta do it with mission agent, you don't have a choice. Okay? You should get the... It says to consult the galaxy map again. Apparently we jumped to the wrong system. Now we have a system showing up over here. Except our hyperdrive is out of fuel now. This 
swear that wasn't there a moment ago. And this is, of course, a system I've already been to as well. So, we'll go ahead and go there. It is what it is. All right. Okay, so, where are we going? That way. All right, so we're going to go to that planet. Contaminated, this is our uranium planet. Again, we don't really have to go to the spot it's directing us to, but we shall see. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I don't have to worry about fighting sentinels here, so I'm just going to go look for a base I can land at. We're going to do south again. Probably not going to find a minor settlement, but... Oh yeah, that's lovely. I just said I don't want to fight sentinels, and you're going to put me in a spot that has sentinels at it. Uh, well, we don't have a landing pad. How rude. Trying to save myself some launch juice. Thruster juice, if you will. Alright, one more scan, and, or else we're just going to land and call it. But the good new, the good part about finding a uh, some place to land is that a lot of times there'll be a cave nearby. So if you got to get some more floor, you can go to the cave. One more. Come on, show us something. Give me a sign. Yeah, that'll work. I don't care what it is at this point. We're just gonna land. That's fine. And we even have a cave nearby, too. Alright. Least hospitable? Are you kidding? The last one was worse. I didn't mean to pick that up. Alright, let's look at plants. Plant. We need seven here. That's one. We never got the animals from the other place. How stupid. I forgot all about that. Sorry, guys. Nine unique animals. That's an organics. That's an organic. Oh, looks like we got an animal about to pop over. Organic. Biologic. Now, there's a lot of rocks here and not a lot of plants. Finding a lot of plants here. So this is going to be very difficult. Because if I'm not mistaken. They don't give a lot. So there must be other plants here someplace that I haven't seen. Alright, let's scan the sodium. Okay. Do a little scan this way. Sodium everywhere. We've got an oxygen plant up there. Oxygen right over here. That's a lot further than I thought it would be. A lot further than I thought it would be. I thought it was like literally right there, but I guess not.
Uh, let's see. And radiation protection is falling. And no plants anywhere. Okay, so this is a kind of stinky situation because now I'm running into the problem of there will not be enough plants on this planet. It wants us to find seven of them, so unless there's water on this planet and I can find plants underwater, these are all inorganic objects and none of them are plants. Okay. And I don't even see any hazardous plants. That's the odd part. Okay. Another scan. It's a blue plant right there. Okay, what do we have to four? doesn't tell me. Alright, let's head back to our ship. Let me take a quick look around because I want to make sure I'm not missing any animals and I have a funny feeling there'll be some floating around here, especially in the midst of a storm. Okay, there's another one. That's six of nine. And sometimes when storms crop up, different animals come out. Occasionally. Alright, let's take a look. We need three more plants, and I need to find them somehow. Flying. And looks like two underwater. Alright, so we need to find water. And a flying creature would be kind of nice if we could find the last flyer. And I don't see him here, so let's go to another part of the planet. The fun part is trying to find ourselves... I just ran into the side of a hill. Uh, is trying to find water on a planet while it is storming. Let's go to the light side. That looks like it could be water right here. Yeah, that does look like water. Okay. Into the water, fly boy. Alright, down we go. Now we can discover some plants. And we'll get the two biological ent entities under here. Okay, plant life. And we need one more. I know this is going to scan. That should be it. Good. Now the only thing we need is a lion creature and we're all done. So, let's wait just a moment. Oh, what do you know? That's great. Didn't know we had uh, that kind of a stormy planet here. Because these are very useful. I'm going to grab them while I can and hope that there's no tornadoes. Very nice. One over there. Okay. And any flying creatures that I can scan? Like you? No? There's one. We got them all. 
And now we can get our 2250 nanite bonus. All right, good deal. Looks like we have another storm crystal. They're all really far away. Okay, that's fine. Whoa, what the heck? Yep, storm's clearing anyway. So, good time to head back to our ship. You know what that one is? All species on two planets. I should have got it at the last planet and didn't even think of it. I forgot to hit the ocean real quick. Alright, good. So that should do it here. Let's head out. Alright. So we are going to hit the space station, but we're going to immediately leave this one to head to the one that we need to go to. Go. And we're done. All right, so let's gonna head over to that station. We're gonna turn in the mission and complete the task. And that should be the end of this episode. So a little bit of running around. We had a nice sentinel battle to really uh, get us moving here. There we go. Previous system. This is the one we want to go to. Why does it say Corvax? It should be... Gek. Correct? Isn't that what I'm missing here? Alright. Let's turn it in here and find out what's going on. And in a mission, we're done. Okay. It's telling us what? Okay, it's telling us to go back to the space anomaly. So, okay, we'll go ahead and do that. Yep, I know. We'll just do it the old-fashioned way, because it'll direct us straight to the system. Alright, so it was this system. Okay. Alright, I had a funny feeling that was it, but yeah, yeah, there we are. Alright. It's telling us to go here and not to the anomaly. Okay, so we will go here then. Interesting looking station, I'll tell you that. Oh, good. Nice parking space. Alright, so now we can hit the Get Cartographer. And complete out this story arc. Ah, you have been making me rich, friend. You have been making me... Yeah, that's what he said. I know you, your kind, the fearless adventurer, the completer of contracts. You think you are a leader. Others fight wars with weapons and fear, but power is more than strength. It is trade, incentives, information. If you've enough units, others will change the world for you without even realizing. So we're going to ask about... Hmm. Love to ask about power and greed. Let's try it. Let's try greed first. Greed? No, I wouldn't say that we are. That we were. Something is wrong with the Gek's voice. Ask about the first spawn. I ask about the first spawn, the Gek Empire that once decimated galaxies and enslaved the Korvax species. Ah, friend, you have been talking to Viking warriors, yes? Even they hate Gek. Ever they slander us, refusing to forgive the past. Do not worry. All is well. All is at peace. Repeat the question. Why do you persist, friend? The Gek are different now. Gek seek no harm, no malice. The Gek changed. Ask how. Must you know? Why do you care, friend? 
The Gek seems disturbed by my questions, asking why I care. It is clear they do not wish to discuss the events of their species past. It is a shame. It is, sh pardon me. Is it shame I see in their eyes, or something else? Say the Corvax care. Don't, don't. You understand? Don't you see it? It never ended. The Gek's face begins to twitch as they speak. A sickly sweet pheromone emerges, emerging into the air. Breathe. The Gek did not change. They invaded our souls. I blink and I'm on Valoran itself, homeworld of the Gek. I stand within the center of the First Spawn Empire, witnessing events that occurred long ago. Cartographer Perma stands next to me, watching what I watch, tears streaming down their face. I see enslaved Korvax move from Gek spawning pool to spawning pool. At each one, they cut into their own suits. Nanite clusters pool out, falling into the fluid of embry embryonic Gek. It is then that I finally understand that the fall of the Gek, their conversion to the Atlas, their release of the Corvax. It was not redemption, it was revolution. Hundreds of Corvax sacrificing their immortality, mingling their nanite clusters with the unborn Gek. The Gek did not become good, they became Corvax, at least in part. Their slaves altered Gek brains, shifting their nature. For the first and final time, the Corvax convergence delighted in the pain of the oppressor say they will be free soon. The Gek stares at me, the vision coming to an end. They appear to be upset at my words. Do not judge us, Traveler, that our ancestors were altered, that they did not find goodness by themselves. That has nothing to do with us. We just want peaceful lives. We just want to be happy. We leave. As I leave, I think about what I've learned. The Gek released the Corvax because their biology was altered. There was no spiritual revelation, no grand redemption. There was a switch in the brain, an alteration to a genetic code. I think of the simulation Nada showed me, their intended heaven for Artemis' soul. It was a false reality, full of arbitrary and unseen rules. How is life any different? Okay, so we are done with that arc. So our next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be heading over to visit um, Null as we finalize this, Corvette, this uh, story arc and get done. And we're going to be moving into the 1616, as you can see. This is where we're heading next. We do need to share this with uh, Nada and Polo, so we'll be doing that in the next episode, and uh, we'll see you guys there. Again, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. Really appreciate all you watching, and we'll see you again next time. Take care, everybody.